Over the years, a lot of people have asked me if I race my sled dogs, and I don't. And if you've ever wondered why, well, I'm going to explain that in today's episode. Hello, welcome to another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Tremblay. Well, I haven't posted a video in quite a while, um, at least a couple of months. And uh, the summer, the spring semester just gets really busy for me. Uh, I was, I've been running the dogs a lot, but I just haven't felt like sh photographing and editing the video. So I apologize for that. But I felt it was time that I finally got something posted again. So I went through my archives and I found some footage that I shot way back in January. And so it's several months old. But this is kind of some interesting footage because uh, I was out bike shoring and the winter was horrible. I mean, January, it took a while for winter to get started this year. So I was still riding my bike in January. So this, in this particular video, I'm out there with Bandit and Shiva. I'm riding the bike. And as we were going along, I felt like kind of talking about one of the most often questions I'm asked is, do you race your sled dogs? And I don't. It just isn't something that I've wanted to do with them. And uh, anyway, I explain it in more detail in this footage here. So um, I'll, I'll, let my, I'll let my January self actually answer that question for you. Stay tuned because I, um, the dogs really get moving towards the end and then I'll wrap it up. So I'll see you at the end of the video. Well, here we are, we're still in January, and uh, we still have not had our first snow of the, of the winter yet. Um, I have gotten the sled out twice so far this season, but uh, I mean, normally I get my sled out end of October through November, and here we are, first week of January, and I'm still riding the bike. Um, so, as you can see, it's cold, all these puddles are frozen over, but we just don't have the snow coverage for a sled. So I think that as we're running along, I thought, uh, as long as I'm not distracting the dogs too much, I thought I would talk a little bit about, uh, about mushing and what I do. And so, um, one of the things people ask me is if I get involved in races, if I race with my dogs. And uh, I don't, I don't race. Never have. I've been, I've been uh, dog sledding, mushing now since uh, oh, we started in the early '90s, uh, mid '90s, and never been involved in racing. Um, when I had my Malamutes, I hit, I hit. Nope, nope. When I had my Malamutes, uh, Malamutes really aren't fast enough to be competitive racing, and so um, I didn't race then. Now I've got my Huskies, and I only have two, so obviously I wouldn't be very competitive there either, but I really have no interest in racing. For me, dog sledding and mushing is more about being out alone with my dogs, and that's why you see in all the videos, uh, it's always usually just me, Bandit, Shiva, and occasionally Carrie comes along with us, um, but for the most part, I really try to go places where I avoid people and I avoid other oh. uh, Some of these puddles are getting a little tough to navigate. Uh, getting challenging on the bike. There we go. Um, but anyway, to me it's about being experienced in the outdoors and really what I think is a very exciting, unique way out with your dogs. And I don't do it for spectators. I don't do it for competition. 
I do this purely for the joy of being in the outdoors and experiencing it with my dogs as I do. Um, what I would really like to do would be nice to build up a bigger team again. You know, maybe a few more dogs. And I would love to do some lock tours. This is what I would really like to do. Go up to northern Maine, do some longer tours. Um, you know, a few days. Oh. Yeah, this ice is tricky. You can't see, but what I'm doing, I have one foot on the ice, on the bike, keep myself from sliding. Good dogs, eh? We're gonna get on some single track, get away from this ice. But, <clears throat> anyway, yep. To me, dog sledding is all about experiencing the outdoors, uh, being out there in the big lonesome, not interested in competition, not interested in being around a lot of other people and dogs and things. So, just kind of bring the GoPro along and share it with y'all. puddles and now we're kind of entering the forest road here. Good dog, that hit.
Well, thanks for staying tuned to the end of the video. Uh, again, that was some old footage, and as I was looking it up, I had forgotten all about it. It was actually a pretty fun run. Um, what I really was impressed with was how well the dogs um, lead themselves. So even though they're listening to my directions, I really like how they're able to um, navigate the terrain and get around the worst of the ice puddles and all the other various obstacles that we get. Um, they're really, really good at that, and I just love being out there with them. So, uh, so thanks, thanks for watching all the way through to the end. We are just about at our 1,000th subscriber, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. That's a, a milestone that uh, we've been trying, we've been working towards for a couple of years. Um, anyway, I apologize for so long between postings. Um, I'm running the dogs all the time. I'll get some more out there soon. Um, in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you on the trail. Before we get to the video itself, I'm going to put in a little plug here. Um, if you haven't seen it, Bandit Shiva and I make a, about a 10 minute appearance in the documentary Heart Prints in the Snow. It's about uh, dog sledding and about the relationship that mushers have with their sled dogs. It's, it's a great video. It's about an hour long and you can see it on Amazon Prime. So just go to Amazon Prime and look up Heart Prints in the Snow. And, uh, and check out a great dog sledding video. And um, stay tuned to the 45-minute the mark or so where Bandit Shiva and I make our own appearance. And we talk about the relationship we have dog sledding.